All right, let's look at this thing. This... Oh my God, look at this, the Uroboros. Am I saying that right? I don't know, I feel like I should be rolling my R's or something. Uh, but look at this, it looks like a fucking alien spacecraft thing. It's awesome looking. It comes in this plexiglass case and it's heavy as hell. Look at this. God. I can't even imagine these sitting on store shelves. This looks like a, something to be in a museum or something. I don't know. Anyway, this is the Razor Ouroboros. Or, or, fuck me. It's an uh, ambidextrous uh, gaming mouse. And uh, wow, this box is crazy, but it doesn't open up very easily. Okay, I'm totally derping out on this, but I think I got it. Son of a bitch. Wow, it weighs nothing. It feels, feels, feels cool, but it feels not real. Yeah, look at that. You thought it didn't look like a spaceship before. What do you think now? God, this thing is cool. In the base of the box we have, uh, looks like a booklet, some papers, a battery, a screwdriver, some other optional pieces, also magnetic and this cord. The cool part about this mouse is that it's both corded and cordless. You can play as long as a battery lasts and then when you are done, or when the battery's done, you plug the cord in and you can continue going without any downtime. Okay, let's go over how the Ouroboros is customizable. So you have these three super strong magnetic uh, holders here on the side and if you'd like you can stick this soft kind of rest there and that's how it looks with that or you can pop this off and stick this one with the base and I guess a kind of thumb rest there. So whatever you'd like, or I guess you could just take them off. Um, and then either way, there, there are thumb buttons here on the side and you can use those if you'd like, or with these switches here, you can just shut them off, which is nice. Uh, I guess while we're at the bottom, the included screwdriver lets you access the, the battery door uh, to change out batteries, but if you unscrew these screws, the length of the mouse is actually adjustable, so you can kind of slide it in, slide it out to your liking, then when you get it where you like it, you just tighten these and you're good to go. And probably the coolest thing is the the base height, so I'm going to spin this wheel here, and uh, that brings the, the back height up or down. Uh, you can fine tune it, dial it into you know, whatever height you'd like, and you're set. And this, I cast this aside earlier, I did not realize that this is a charging base. Or actually, when you pull this out of here, this is a charging base. Okay, so here's what the Ouroboros looks like on its handy charge base. Um, how this works is, this is just a, it's kind of neat because it sticks to whatever surface you, you put it on, and there's just two contacts there. And um, magnetically, it just kind of latches on. It looks good, and um, so this is a dual purpose thing. The mouse um, attaches with this really nice braided cable here. You can pull that out and connect it to this base. And what that does is it makes this a wireless charging slash sync base. Um, you, know, you press this button and you're able to sync up the mouse for wireless use. Um, so it's not, uh, it's not Bluetooth, it is a, a dongle of sorts with this base, but it works nicely and when you're done, you just stick it on there to charge. In use, the Ouroboros is quite nice. It glides perfectly if you have a good mousing surface and uh, all the buttons and functions are, are super handy. These buttons here uh, change the sensitivity of the mouse movement. Uh, mouse wheel is really good and clickable. These four buttons are um, Programmable, I have these set for uh, MMO hot button use because I like that. Uh, right here, if you were to squeeze into the base of this, like this, uh, this actually kind of throttles. Uh, so if you want some fine movement, you just hold in here and you have nice kind of tight movement temporarily let go and, and you have your full range of movement again. Uh, but you know, beyond this, on top, you can kind of scroll between uh, 8,200 all the way down to 800 uh, for sensitivity. So pretty good in use.
So $150 for a mouse? Yeah, that's a lot of money for a mouse. That's a, you know, that's a lot of money for any type of input device, period. But you know, this is one hell of a mouse. They're not messing around here. And you know, for me, I switched to this from a SteelSeries Sensei. And while I really like that mouse, this one's just kind of kicking its butt. Um, so I definitely recommend this if you're looking for a premium gaming mouse.